Guys, join me and Jack on a trip to one of the famous dessert shops in Pudu. Cheers! Yay. Ruby's Dessert House is located right in the heart of Pudu. It is a busy area with limited parking available. But a good place to park your car is at the junction of Jalan Pasa and Jalan Landa. There's an open air car park called Asia Park. From there, it's just a two minute walk to reach Ruby Dessert Shop. Cheers! So, you can see after parking our car, Jack and I walked towards the restaurant. You can see there's a long queue, a lot of people waiting in line patiently to order this famous desserts from Ruby Dessert House. There's two options, either you can sit down and get an order done or line up and place an order for takeaway. So while waiting in line to order, I decided to take a video, Jack took a video of the menu. You can see the options, black sesame paste, peanut paste, almond paste, walnut paste and steamed egg custard available. Notice the tagline on the menu. If you're not satisfied, we don't expect you to pay. This menu can be found on the website of the restaurant. So how is this bread made? First, the seeds are fried in a pan for a few minutes. As seen here. Once it's done, then these seeds are ground into a paste using a natural grinder as shown here. Once this paste is already formed after grinding, then the paste is cooked in a low fire until it's ready to serve. Now the cooks here, the waitress here are very artistic and yes, the servings are done in a, sometimes in a fun way with nice designs to give you the appetite. So as you can see here, you can notice the patrons are all patiently lining up ready to place their orders when the turn comes at the serving area. There's a long queue here, you've got to follow instructions, you know. You've got to take a paper, write your number and line up, and then no questions asked. You're not sure you look at the menu yourself, you cannot be asking the guy. You say, I have no time to entertain you, you have to choose the menu yourself, pay the money up front and wait in turn for your dessert. Cheers. Well, you can see the sign here is giving you instructions on how to order. Because of staff shortage, write your order on a pen and paper. Please write the order code when ordering. Please line up and order at the counter. Please be patient while waiting. Any inconvenience is regretted. Thank you for your cooperation. And these are the items available. Black sesame paste, peanut paste, walnut paste, almond paste and steamed egg custard. Okay, guys, uh, because it was in, the wording was in Cantonese, staff nurse Lian, my nurse, who very good in Chinese, in many dialects, helped me translate that writing into English. Lian? Thank cheers. you, cheers. Can you, can you take out your mask, Lian? I don't want to. Okay. Well, the sy system seemed to work well like clockwork. The patrons uh, pass the order to the boss, and he takes it down, and the thing is prepared while they are payment is made at the counter. Well, he was surprised when I ordered 10 bowls of the peanut paste, but he graciously obliged. I decided to take the opportunity while waiting for my peanut paste to be ready to look around the shop and browse around the shop. And there Jack and I found this interesting thing. This was the natural grinders used before to grind the paste. And I decided to have a go. I asked Jack to have a go but she was not keen. She was a bit shy so I decided to try it. And she took a video of me trying out this grinder. It is not easy and you have to grind it for an hour if you want to get a good paste that's what Ricky said in this store can also be found this 100 year old recipe book which actually 
was brought in by Ricky Khan's great grandfather Khan Singh from China, which depicts the recipes for the broth and the goodness it achieves. So after the grinding, the last stage is cooking the paste in a low fire until it's ready. The blood which is now ready is now placed in front at the entrance of the shop for people to place their orders. You could get also various kaya puffs, tau sapra, siu pao being sold at Ruby's dessert shop. You said can keep in the in the in the fridge two huh? days. Fridge two days, two days, yes. Fridge lah. Yes. And then in the microwave how Don't long? Don't put the what for that to the vegetable compartment. Ah, vegetable compartment. Okay. Then two days ah. Ah, then two days. Ah, then two the microwave to think. Ah, for for few seconds ah. Few seconds, okay. Ah, the chill is so fine nice. Chill is so nice, so lah. Like. Peanut ice cream lah. Oh, like ice cream lah. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're the boss ah. Sorry. You're the boss ah. Uh, I'm the what? The fourth generation. The fifth generation. Okay. okay. I found this on the website of the restaurant. There are many health benefits of sesame seed as seen here. So, the business has also won an award from Dewan Manuel for being active for more than 50 years in its present location. Guys, here comes the most important part, the tasting of the peanut paste. A lot of shops sell this peanut paste, but sometimes it is not as good. It's not so good because and, uh, it's too watery or too sweet but this is the peanut paste from Ruby's dessert shop you can see it is not too watery and it's not too thick it's a nice firm consistency I can smell the aroma of the peanuts and mm. I can taste the peanuts there's a distinct flavor of peanuts as you, as you take it down. So, it's good. Good <coughs> consistency, not too watery, not too thick. There is the aroma of peanuts in the air and also it's not too sweet. So, I would recommend you trying this peanut paste brought from Ruby's dessert shop. Cheers. Now, Jack is going to try the peanut broth. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> Yummy. Yummy? Mm. You, th you think it's good? It really Why is it yummy? I love the taste of huh? it. It tastes like peanut butter. Oh, peanut butter. Mm. And how's the sweetness? It's not too sweet. And is it too watery or too thick? No, it's in between. So just nice. Mm. So you recommend getting this, lining up for half an hour <laughs> to get this, and going all the way to Pudu to get this yeah. peanut broth? <laughs> okay, cheers.